What's up guys, welcome back to Beauty 101. Today's episode is going to be all about blush. So as you can see, things are really coming together. We started off with primer and we have made it all the way to blush. So if you have not seen the other videos in this series, I will link them below, but make sure you check them out so you can understand really how we got to this point right here. So in the last episode we did bronzer, I finally feel like I look like a human. I feel like those first like four episodes, I was just, it's the most bare face until you put bronzer on, it's like game changer. The blush is going to add even more life to the face and I am so excited, so let's jump right in. All right, a couple of blush products to talk to you about. First are the, the Cheek to Chic um, blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. These are probably my all time favorite brushes blushes they're definitely a little pricey but they are so universal i have the shade sex on fire and i believe ecstasy is the other one ecstasy is a little bit more peachy and sex on fire is a little bit more like purpley pinky plummy so these are both amazing blushes i recommend both of them very much i find that both of these blushes look really good with a lot of different skin tones and with a lot of different types of makeup i always get questions about how to match your blush to your eyeshadow or to the rest of your ma your makeup and you really just want to choose a blush that's neutral that kind of goes with everything and i feel like both of these are really really good for that also if you're struggling with that it helps to just put a little bit of your blush into your eyeshadow just to kind of pull everything together that's just like a little hack the other blush that I love is in the Trip for Two Wander Beauty Palette, which I used in my last video. This one is like this beautiful, like purpley pink that just looks so nice. When I first saw it, I was like, whoa, that is way too pink for me. And then I put it on and I was like, psych, this pink is awesome on me. I believe Morphe makes a couple of blush palettes. I would say if you're struggling with choosing a blush and not knowing which shade to use, something you can do is get a palette that has a bronzer, has a highlighter, and has a blush in it. That kind of makes everything easier for you because you know those shades all work really well together. Two other blushes I have to mention, but I'm not gonna use these today because they're cream and we are sticking to powders. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, we always do creams first and then we move on to powders. So these are the Grande Pop liquid plumping blushes. I actually have a full video on my channel that I'll link below reviewing and using these blushes and you guys can kind of see them in action, but they're incredible. I love their shades. And honestly, since my makeup is so set into my face, it wouldn't be the end of the world to put something like this on top. Like I'm pretty set at this point. It's not like I just put powder on. So it's okay to use a liquid blush if you feel like your makeup is like completely sunken in and set. The shades Mobsicle and Sweet Peach are so, so good from Grande. They also plump, so they like tingle. It's so good. All right, so I'm gonna use Sex on Fire, and for a tool or a brush today, I'm using the Real Techniques 400. This is my like go-to favorite blush brush ever. It's so affordable. Real Techniques make some really good affordable makeup brushes. I got this in a pack of like three, I wanna say for 10 bucks. I got this and two others that were for like maybe concealer and contouring, whatever. So this one's amazing. And this is that more like pinky purpley shade. I just think this shade looks so, so good on my skin tone. I like my lips are kind of like a purpley pink shade. Blush application is super easy, you guys. We're just gonna coat our brush. I like to smile a little bit. And then I kind of do this like check mark motion. And I feel like that really helps like lift the cheek. And I kind of just like, you know, lightly fluff my brush. I've really only gone in the product once at this point, and I'm just kind of blending it in to the bronzer and, you know, the side of my nose a little bit, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I like to use a smile to really find the tops of my cheekbones, and then I will, again, kind of do this area with the excess just so I look sun-kissed and alive, and honestly, I just adore this blush shade, it's so, so pretty. So this is gonna be probably one of the simplest videos, but I wanted to create its own video so that we could talk about matching shades and really how I apply them and the tools that I use because I do feel like blush is something that's kind of like glazed over. Not a lot of people talk about it or like share their favorites of them or like really how to apply it because it is pretty simple, but I wanted to show you it, so. That is our blush application, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something, and I will see you in the next one. We will be doing highlight in our next video. See you then.